Sir Alex Ferguson and others have described this as the English El Clasico. How do you view Liverpool Manchester United? Oh, it's really much more important that people who know it much longer than I do um, name it. It's not my job to do. Being part of that game is pretty special, I can say that. Uh, it's a big one, and when I heard, when I was back in Germany years ago, then I, when I heard about that game, I tried everything I can to watch it. That's, uh, that's the truth. So, and um, very often it was very intense. Um, and now I'm in for a few years, couple of years, and um, it's, it was always tight in the European League. We were very successful against them. That was really good in the league. don't remember bad results too much, to be honest, but it's, um, um, I don't feel that we, always, that we always got the right result for the performance we had. So last year, we had a very good start in the home game against us, but then we took more or less over, but couldn't, couldn't get the game back, if you want, at home, a draw. The year before, I don't, I don't even remember it, but I don't think we won a lot. So. Um, uh, we try to change that at least. Uh, we try to change that. But it will be a very intense game, and um, yeah, we need to be ready for that. And that, that's really important because we, this week we, we reached a big target on Tuesday night. So we had one day exactly to, to feel the relief a little bit with, uh, with that because, of course, until Monday night, Tuesday afternoon, it was not clear that we will stay in the Champions League. The boys did the job. So then we took the Wednesday to really calm down, and since yesterday we are back on track, and now today is the most important, most important session to prepare that game. And I'm really looking forward to it. It will be a big one, and I think the people are ready to, to create again an atmosphere similar to Tuesday night, um, which was again very special. And so, um, yeah, looking forward. No, no Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, is that a defensive crisis you face? No, it's all defensive. It's all situation. <laughs> but, but, but sure, the crisis is. I think if you feel it's a crisis, it's our situation. So with the trend, it's not it's not as serious as it is with the other two boys. Um, but of course, it's absolutely not not top class news. That's clear. Uh, it was unlucky as well, for, especially with Joel. It was the last the last second of the game. I. Many asked me in the press conference, and I had no idea about it. So, because I went go pretty much immediately doing different stuff, and, um, I, and I didn't see him on the pitch because I spoke to Carlo. Um, so, but the rehab already started pretty much, if you want. Um, same for Joe and Trent. Yeah, we, we have to see. It's, for him, it's day, day by day when we charge it. So, it's, yeah. But it's not cool. But how I said, as long as we have still enough players. It's my job, our job, always to find a solution for it, and we will have a solution for the weekend. But of course, it's not perfect. Uh, Jürgen, what's it like the experience of, of being part of that atmosphere that this fixture generates? It's good. It's, it's something really. If you, if you, it's it's one of these games when when the players talk to each other in the dressing room, then it's about the, the boys who played it already prepare pretty much the others because it's special. But it's. I said or before, it's, it's as well one of the games where you sign, which you sign with your contract. Do try to do everything you have to to, to win it, um, and um, so that's clear. No, it's a it's an absolutely big one. It's historical wise, a big one. And if Alex Ferguson says it's a British um, El Clasico, then I'm really blessed because I was already part of the German El Clasico. <laughs> um, um, so no, it's it's a cool game. United being 16 points behind you now, does that rule them out of the title race? I really don't think that there was ever interest in the points of, of Manchester United, and I'm not today, obviously, but it's, it's about they have. Um, really, if you. I don't read too much what you write, obviously, but um, of course I'm aware of the. Um, of the criticism and all that stuff, but when, when we make the analyze and, and switch off the sound, there's a lot of quality. Eh? There's a lot of quality. There's speed. There's technique. There's uh, physical strong. They have, they have pretty much everything. They have still um, the hair and the goal. That's unbelievable. So and and all this stuff. So they have strikers. They can switch between Rashford, Lukaku, um, and 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 others. They have um, they have Linga. They have Martial. They have unbelievable quality. So I we we don't judge the points they have. We judge the quality they have. And be prepared for that. 
at all. You also have a World Cup winner, Paul Pogba. I just wonder, do you see United as a more difficult proposition with Pogba in the side or, or without? I don't actually know how much you ask Jose Mourinho about players from us. Did somebody ask him what he thinks about Gini Wijnaldum? Oh, I would think so. I am 100% sure not. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I would um, think because be now I, I don't. I, what can I? I can really. The, Paul Pogba is a world-class player. That's all I can say. So, and he's a Man United player. That's all. So I think we should prepare for him as well. Julius? with Paul Pogba is a bit cheeky, but um, is he the type of player that you would like to manage, given the opportunity, should that ever happen? You know better than I what happens if I give an answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> so no answer to that question. Yeah. Yeah. If we can make a story with that as well, that would be cool. Klopp denies an answer. <laughs> Okay, can, can I ask you about Nathaniel Klein? Is he ready? Yeah. In mind the situation. It looks like Klein was, um, was unfortunately injured in the last two, three weeks. Uh, nothing serious, but serious enough to, that he couldn't be in part of training. So, luckily, I would say, he's um, you can since. This one. Yeah? You can answer this one. Yeah. Three, no, since, um, I think, three, four days he's in, in full training again. So that's good. Is he ready for 90 minutes? I don't know. But is he ready? Yes. Thank you. Given the importance and the history behind this fixture and the talent in the United ranks, were you surprised at how cautious they were against you last season at Anfield? How they seem to lack a bit of ambition, United? I don't think that Jose Mourinho ever has a lack of ambition, ever. He just uh, makes what he thinks is right in the moment, so that makes him the the most successful manager in the, in the world, huh? so um, that's how it is. And it um, was, not, was not a joy for us <laughs> to play against them, having this quality on the other side and then having the ball constantly and try to have an idea, going around, stuff like that. The boys tried everything, but that day it didn't work out, but that's absolutely how it is. We all, we all have our plan for a game, so that's it. No problem with that. Uh, in a fixture of this nature, how important do you think Somebody like Jared and Shakiri could be for you, and and have you been even just obviously somebody you, you wanted to bring in, so you know about his quality. Have you been surprised at how quickly he's adapted to, to what you want from him? Actually, not because he's delivering exactly that what we, what we saw in him, and we only have to make sure that or he has to make sure that he can deliver that here, like he delivered at Munich. Not maybe not that often in Milan, but I didn't watch him that often. And at Stoke, so that's how it is. He's a, he's a top-class player, and uh, no, I'm not surprised. Carl, um, your last two home games against United have been goals, draws, um, and uh, City similar. And before you... that, we lost one 0 right? Yeah. And Wayne Rooney. <coughs> but so it's time. <laughs> yeah, I know. And um, does that show that? The respect that your side has earned, that sides come here and, and are almost happy to go away with the goals, draw, even sides like my United City. They have our situation. I don't know what other teams make of our situation. I have to ask them. So, but we never thought before a game, only because we have a few good results in the past at home or whatever, that it will be easy in the next game. That's not the, the, the mood you can you can win football games in. And that's all. So it's, we, we only have to. It's a typical. It's a typical situation. Look at it. You here. It's probably. I don't know exactly how the atmosphere was in the Man United press conference, but here it's rather positive. You're looking for things to talk about. We have no problems. So what? We have a few injuries, but apart from that, everything is positive. On the other hand side, it looks like ah, oh, it's not the best mood. Lost the last Champions League game and stuff like that. You all prepare with that atmosphere. You all prepare. Make make it easier for United in that situation. So, but we have to be, we have to be angry on Sunday, and we will be. We fight for our points. It's not that there's anything. We don't solve problems for others or whatever. We have our own problems. We have our own targets. And we go for them. That's all. But with all of this kind of questions, where you think why are we talking about that? Because we don't we don't have something to talk about. Obviously, you want to, you want to talk with me about Man United. So that's the interesting stuff. So that's you prepare already the stories for. For Monday, and so, and our job is that you have to write on Sunday the right stories. Sunday night. Anything else, can I?
um, just on, on Klein, you said he tried, trained for, for four, three or four days and he's fine, but I think he's only played what, six games in 18 months. Does that make, make a difference? Does that affect Klein is a very experienced player, so yeah, is it perfect? No. But is he, is he experienced enough to do it? Yes, 100%. We have other options. Eh? We have other options as well, so we will not push Kleine through now after not the longest um, spell of training, I would say. When we have um, we have still young guns. We have Rafa Camacho played outstandingly well in the preseason. Um, even Curtis Jones played. I think they both played against United, wasn't it? That game? Yeah. So we have other options as well. And how I said, as long as we have options, everything is fine. Um, if we don't have the obvious option anymore, then we need to be creative. And um, hopefully we don't have to be creative too often because it's um, never a good sign for the death of the squad then. But all fine for the moment. May I just ask on oh, behalf of Radio Wales? Uh, Harry Wilson and Darby <coughs> County. Um, from what we're hearing and everything else, you're really happy with what's going on there, and is there no chance of him being called back from the loan spell, and will he continue that for the rest of this season? So I'm really happy about what, about what Harry's doing, and it's true. It's fantastic. It's an absolutely perfect example for that. Sometimes it's really good to leave home to, to, to show up somewhere else, and I really think that Harry left in the right moment. So I think since I'm in, everybody told me that Harry Wilson needs to go on loan, stuff like that, and then I was... Um, and I really thought for him a few more, he was too young and he scored a lot of goals for the U23s already. And then when he went uh, last year to last season, he was, uh, was already good. Came back, uh, preseason was like preseason was. And then he went to Derby and now he's with, with Frank, obviously, an outstanding. That's really nice what the job Frank is doing there. It's outstanding. Eh? So England finally has um, a lot of young, good, good managers. That's cool. Um, but our situation is like this in the moment. If you would have asked me a week before, two weeks before, do we, do we, you asked me probably on the transfer market, do we do anything? And I would say, probably not. So now we have two center halves left. Will we do something? Not really likely because they are not out for a long time. Yes. But um, it's always we have to judge it new, and that's exactly the same with Harry. If, you now, if now something happens in offensive, wing position, why should I say today 100% we will not do it? I mean, that's the only thing Derby has to accept it in the moment they sign the contract, so they have to wait until the last second and we can decide. So, But we don't want to take him away. Only if we really need him, then we would trigger that option. Otherwise, he's there and it's in a, in a fantastic team. I, I like watching them. I, of how they played against United, that was a, that would have been a role model game, and it was not because United was weak; it was because Derby was outstanding, um, and so yeah.